I'm the new sugar to West. The day one, I ain't have to get put on the set. Bang what I bleed, I'ma push it to death. In the world that ain't safe, only bullets protect. I wish a nigga with disrespect. I'ma knock his ass out, put my foot on his neck. I could beat the fifth, but I wouldn't confess. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Young Wu back with some more on the block news, man. Now, I know all of y'all seen the army dude, you feel me, or military dude, the active military dude, you feel me, probably on his way, you feel me, to, to clock in to this military shit, you feel me, on a clock, put his life on the line for this shit, went through all the training, you feel me, went and fought, probably went and fought for America, probably actually been in war, probably risked time with his family, you feel me, being away from his family, risked time being away from his family, risking his life on the line for America, only to come back home to the country that he was protecting and fighting for to be treated like a piece of shit on Instagram, you feel me? The military lieutenant, or we're gonna just say he's a lieutenant because I don't know if he's part of the military, army, or navy. He's a lieutenant, you feel me? A black lieutenant, you feel me? He was pepper sprayed by the police officers, you feel me? I ain't gonna do too much talking. We finna watch this shit together. I'm gonna react through it, you feel me? And we about to, we finna get this shit popping. Let's get it. <laughs> I just want to say this right now. You can tell by the tone of the officer. You can hear in the tone and the voice. He's already coming off aggressive. We already know you the fucking police, bro. You don't need to come off aggressive. We see your guns. We see your fucking baton that you never fucking use and your bitch ass pepper spray, bro. We see that shit in your bitch ass tasers, my nigga. You ain't gotta come and be so aggressive, but listen, man. Let's get this shit back going. Put your hands down the window! Come around your side. Come around your side. Come around your side. I'm going to just pause this once again. I just want to say, I'm not, it's not really clear if this is a traffic stop or if he ran a red light or if he's a fuck, got a warrant for his arrest because I want to know what the fuck is the procedure for stopping somebody with your, with your guns drawn already. If it's a traffic stop and they actually stop, what the fuck you drawing your guns for? Did he run from you like... I'm not understanding this already, but listen, man, we're finna keep it going. Open the door slowly and step out! Open the door! Get out the car! Open the door slowly and get out! Get out of the car! Now! Open the door and get out the car! Hold, still, hold, 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 hold. Home. Keep your hands outside the window. Keep your hands outside the window. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. Just it again just Get out of the car now. This type of shit that's going on, young black man, older black man, man, people of other races, we experience this shit every day. You feel me? This is something that happened to be on camera. You feel me? A situation like this happened to myself. About 12 officers pulled. Pulled up on me and wifey, you feel me? With like 12 straps drawn on us, no cap. But listen, man, this ain't about me, let's keep it going. Now! Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! Yo, what? guess what? I'm a veteran too, I don't know, babe. Get out of the car! He said, look, I'm a veteran. That nigga said, so what? I'm a veteran too. Get your ass out the car. Like, basically, like, fuck. I don't give a fuck about you being no veteran, nigga. We don't care that you from the same team as us, nigga. On the real, we ain't friends, nigga. Get your bitch ass out the car. That's like, that's how you coming at my black man in the car. You feel me? My black lieutenant, you feel me? That earned his stripes. You feel me? In the war. You feel me? A war funded by the motherfucking government. They still don't show us no respect. Let's keep it going. Get out of the car now. What's going on? You're fixing to ride the light, with Get out of the car! 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 Get
car now. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Sir, just get out of the car. Work with us and we'll talk to you. Get out of the car. All right, I just want to pause it right there. You feel me? I see the other officer. You feel me? He letting the black man know. Just get out of the car, bro. You feel me? Work with us and we work with you. You feel me? I salute that. You feel me? Because... When you got the asshole officers and you got the officers that showing you respect and you, you know talking to you calmly, them the ones you want to show respect because you feel me, they ain't they ain't got no ill intentions for you, you feel me, or doing nothing to you. Them the ones that's really trying, they know they were the asshole. So listen, man, to everybody out there, listen. When you got a respectful officer and an asshole officer, listen to the respectful one because he's probably the only one that can control that asshole. You feel me? You don't want that asshole to become to show you how much of an asshole he can be, you feel me? But listen, man, we finna keep it going. See your order, obey it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Get out. Yeah, dude, you should be. Get out. Okay, 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 okay. Now, you feel me? He, the, the, the asshole officer, he threw a slick comment. He said, I gave you an order, get out of the car. You feel me? Like, he know that he's a military, uh, he's a lieutenant, so lieutenant, army, military, whatever. You feel me? They know all about um, respecting orders, and you feel me? Listening to their commanded, you feel me? He try to act like he his commanded officer. You feel me? Like he above him, like he his sergeant or something. You feel me? But the black man, he let you know. You feel me? Just like all of us are. You feel me? With guns drawn on us, whether you black, white, Hispanic, nigga, Asian, where the fuck you from, right, motherfucker? Whether it's a police officer, whoever the fuck got a gun drawn on you, you're going to have a little fear in your heart, right? Even if they love you, right? Because that motherfucker can go off, right? Exactly. So I understand that part too. But listen, man, let's keep it going. Get out of the car. Get out now. You have not committed any crime. You're being stopped for a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for. You're being detained, okay? You're being detained for obstruction of justice. Okay. Okay. Now, I just want to point this out. You feel me? This is a lieutenant, you feel me? So um, I'm very well that he's aware of the law, you feel me? And it's some up in the law that say the officer really have to have, you feel me, like a reason to pull you out your car. So he let an officer know I haven't broke any laws, you feel me, I haven't done nothing wrong. You feel me? The, you would tell the officer, just like the police do, especially in LA County, I don't know how it is in y'all city, but you feel me? They, they come up with the excuses quick. He said, at this point, you're being arrested. Um, you're being detained for obstruction of justice. How you obstruction of justice? He ain't done nothing wrong. What has he done on the real? Has he run any lights? You need his ID. You feel me? You need his insurance. He can pass you that out the window. He said he's fearing for his life. Y'all motherfucking police officers all the time. Y'all get away with murder for saying y'all fear your life. This man ain't putting no gun on y'all. Ain't, ain't showed y'all no type of threat. You feel me? At all. You feel me? He's saying he feared for his life. Why y'all can't respect that? But listen, man, let's keep it going. You have to even really? Stop. Really? Get, your get, hands. get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me. Get, 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 get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Not a problem. Get your hands off me. Back up there. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car now. Sir, get out of the car. Hey, sir. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. 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 Get out of a motherfucking police officer see me on the street and just walk up and grab me or I'm in traffic with wifey, I ain't did no, I'm just at a stop sign, I ain't even went, motherfucker see me and say get the fuck out the car, I gotta, it should be a law that protect us as humans, as citizens, you feel me, like this officer put his hands on a lieutenant, you feel me, a person that's putting their life on the line for America, every day he's on active duty, my nigga, he probably on his way in or just got off, my nigga, on the real trying to get home to his family or just left his family, my nigga, they ain't showing them no respect, you feel me, he said get your hands off me, man, whether you a police officer, nigga, whether you the military, nigga, don't touch me, nigga, because I'm a man before all that shit, nigga, I'm a man before your uniform, you a man before your uniform, respect me, man, so, the officer got mad, so what'd he do? You about to see. Sir, look, I'm trying to talk get out. to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk, talk to you. Get out. Just relax. Get out. Can you please get relax? Get out. Okay, relax. so now get listen. Out the now listen. The respectful officer, like I said, man, you got to be able to, to notice when you got a, a good officer in your presence and an asshole officer in your presence. Now, the asshole officer already tried to put his hands on him. He said, all right, I got something for you. That's the asshole. The, the, the good cop, he already know. You feel me? Don't put, don't piss him off, cause, cause bro be on shit. You feel me? So he like, listen, man, 
You feel me? The officer is trying to be respectful and tell him, like, bro, I'm trying to work with you. Get out the car, bro. Like, he trying to give him a warning. You feel me? He giving him a warning. You feel me? He ain't going to be able to control the asshole once the asshole, the beast is unleashed. You feel me? But listen, man, let's keep it going. Get out of the car right now. Now. This is not how you treat a back up. I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat Back up, Daniel. I didn't do it. Back up. Whoa, hold on. Daniel. What's going on? Hold on. I just dropped it. Get out of the car! Get out of the car now! So at this point, you feel me, asshole officer, number one, you feel me, he just pepper sprayed him. You feel me, the respectful, good officer, he was just trying to open the door. You feel me, I guess he couldn't open it for some reason. You feel me, the, the, um, the driver, he didn't try to, try to resist him opening the door, he just couldn't, the officer just couldn't get the door open. Now, it has to be a certain procedure for an officer and how many times you can spray a fucking citizen that's a non-threat with pepper spray. How you gonna spray a motherfucker with pepper spray and tell him to get out the car like, motherfucker, my eyes, the first thing I wanna do with my hands is put them over my face. Nigga, I'm in pain, damn, nigga, I'm scared. I'm scared to put my hands over my face. I'm trying to keep them right here with my motherfucking eyes burning. But listen, man, let's keep it going. Get out of the car now! Sir, just get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Yeah, oh, get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're gonna get get. I I don't even want to be messy. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Listen. All right, listen. I just want to pause it right here because listen. We know police officers is assholes, disrespectful, you feel me, abuse their authority. We're aware of that, you feel me? We're aware that us as black people, us as minority, we fucking targets, you feel me? They can't wait to get a chance to do us wrong, you feel me? You see what happened to George Floyd, and he ain't do a damn thing, you feel me? He ain't do a damn thing. Now, you think just because you know the law and everything, like, they don't care about that, bro. They don't give a fuck about that. So, of course, the police officers is wrong. But you as a black man... You got to try to stay alive, my nigga, because you want to make it home. You want to make it home, so you got to do what you got to do to make it home, my nigga. Do what the fuck you got to do to make it home. But listen, man, let's keep it going. Take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Look, I'm just going to just please. You're going to do what you're told. Get out of the car. Look, Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out, please. So I'm guessing asshole, he been with the, um, I don't even know where they from. I don't even know. This is in Windsor, Virginia. So I'm guessing the asshole officer, he been with the, with the police department longer because he got the say so. He got the control. He's able to tell the officer, no, don't go in there. You feel me? He got the control. He got the power. He's the enforcer. He's the more aggressive one. But listen, man, let's keep it going. Please, look. This is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. He said, what are you? Like, like he act like he has some respect for him. Like, what are you, uh, lieutenant, sergeant, what? He said, lieutenant, lieutenant, get out of the car. You feel me? Get your ass out the car. Like, at this point, bro, at this point, the door is open. His seatbelt is off. You already been pepper sprayed, bro. They telling you get out the car. You halfway out the car. This boy, you might as well just get out the car, bro. You feel me? They've been wrong. The way they handle it is wrong. You feel me? But you're a black man. You want to survive. You want to make it home, right? Man, just get your ass out the car, bro. You feel me? But listen, man, let's keep it going. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. You just comply. Get out of the car. I'm reaching for my seatbelt. Fine. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight onto the ground. Straight onto the ground. Man. Officer, Damn, let's go. Let's go. Available. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground and get sprayed again. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Please talk to me about what's going on. Now, at this point, I can understand why this black man that he out the car and with them using so much force on him, I can understand why he don't want to get on the ground. 
feel me? George Floyd was on the ground, you feel me? Y'all motherfuckers had y'all motherfucking foot in his neck, man. Y'all took one of ours, my nigga, on the real. So I understand y'all trying to make this big ass, tall ass man, you feel me, get on the ground while he's like, hell, like, I don't mind y'all putting me in handcuffs, but I'm not about to get on no motherfucking ground. I understand them. On the real, man, that shit happened to me. Motherfucker, police officer try to make him get on a hot ass ground, nigga. It's like 100 something degrees. Talking about getting on the ground, I'm like, the ground is too hot, sir. I'm not putting my motherfucking face on that ground, sir. You feel me? Real shit. Real shit. On the real, they searched me. Searched my car. They ain't find shit. You feel me? It was nothing in the car at the time. You feel me? But listen, man, let's keep it going. Can you please talk to me about what's yes, going sir. on? Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Because you're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. Man, listen. He wanted to know why is he being treated this way. A question we have yet to answer. A question that has yet to be answered. He wanted to know why was the police officers the ones that's supposed to protect and serve us was treating him so badly, treating him so aggressive, like he risking his life, putting his life to fight for your country, America, the war that y'all start and y'all fun, you feel me? He wanted to know why you being treated like this, you feel me? And he kind of broke down, you feel me? So that, that right there, you feel me? That hurt a nigga, you feel me, to see another person in pain, you feel me, knowing what the officers could do to you at a time like that and how a motherfucker could really be in fear, you feel me? But this is just a reality check out there that these motherfuckers don't protect, they don't serve us, they react, you feel me, and they serve us shots, you feel me? They serving a shell, you feel me? They trying to put us in the dirt, you feel me? The ones that's supposed to protect and serve us, you feel me? The one that tried to kill us yesterday, they trying to help us tomorrow, you feel me? Ain't that what Malcolm X said? Yeah, on everything, and it hurt. Yeah, because he probably felt like, you feel me, I don't know him personally, so I can only assume, right? He probably like, man, I'm finna get in this army, I'm gonna get the respect I deserve from America. And he, nigga probably seen all kind of shit, you feel me, probably traumatized from war. You feel me, and they get, come home and get treated like this, probably going through some mental issues because of what the fuck he's seen. And to be treated like that, America don't give a fuck about you, man. These officers don't give a fuck about you, my nigga. On everything, they treat you like shit. They don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, this they shit. That's how they feel. This they shit, and you will guess. And you're going to take the treatment how we give it to you. But listen, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button, man. My name is Young Woo. This is On The Block News. I just bought some new jewelry to flex. Plus a whole zip with a cushion for the stress. Trying to own the block in my hood and invest. Blood, sweat, and tears with a bruise on my flesh. To some losses, but they lose no respect. Eyes wide open, watch my shoes and my steps. Even in my hood, and I'm booling my jacks. Cause every single time I watch the news, it's a death. I'm still here, I know I gotta be blessed. I pop rocks, try to flock for a check. Pulled over, but the cops got finesse. Tell me what you need, and I got it for less. I was raised on the block by the vets. One of a kind, you cannot copy my fresh. You could catch some shots to your chest. Trying to show me your body get stretched I gotta keep my foot on they neck Get out of line with me, I'ma put them in check